The cooling system is a group of components that work together to help maintain engine operating temperature. The components of the cooling system are the water pump, the thermostat, the radiator and radiator cap, cooling fan, coolant recovery tank, belts and hoses. The coolant flow starts at the water pump, flows through the engine block, through the thermostat, through the radiator, and back to the water pump. As the coolant flows through the system, it picks up heat in the engine and flows to the radiator where it is cooled and then returned to the engine. The thermostat is a valve that is controlled by temperature. As the engine is cooled, the valve is closed. As the engine warms up, the valve opens and allows flow to the radiator. If the thermostat becomes stuck and quits working, it will affect the entire cooling system. Heated coolant flows into the radiator inlet. It is passed through a series of tubes and fins that effectively dissipate the heat from the coolant. Radiator restriction can compromise its ability to transfer heat. These can be either external airflow or internal coolant restriction. As coolant temperature increases, so does the pressure in the cooling system. This pressure is regulated by the radiator cap. Correct system pressure is required for proper water pump seal lubrication. Increasing the cooling system pressure raises the boiling point of the coolant. For each pound of increase, it raises the boiling point 3 degrees Fahrenheit. If the pressure builds up higher than the set pressure point, a spring-loaded valve in the cap will release the pressure. The radiator cap can be tested with a kit available at your local parts store. If an engine has overheated, the radiator cap and thermostat should be replaced. The fan draws air through the radiator to assist in the heat transfer. On vehicles equipped with a fan clutch, the fan clutch engages as needed to draw air through the radiator. It allows the fan to freewheel when air is not needed, thus reducing horsepower loss and improving fuel efficiency. Check the fan clutch for loose bearings or oil leaks. Fan clutch failures can lead to water pump failures and overheating issues. The coolant reservoir tank is designed to capture any overflow from the radiator. Also to return coolant to the radiator as needed. To properly check the coolant level in your reservoir tank, refer to the owner's manual. The water pump's job is to move coolant through the engine to the radiator and back to the engine. If the water pump experiences a leak from the seal, a cracked housing, broken impeller, or a bearing malfunction, it can compromise the entire cooling system, causing the vehicle to overheat. It's not uncommon under normal operating conditions for the water pump to weep a small amount of coolant. Hoses carry coolant to and from the radiator and heater core assembly. Hoses that are spongy to the touch or that have cracks present should always be replaced. Whether it is a timing belt or chain or an accessory drive belt, belts are often the driving link that turns the water pump. The belt must always be in good condition and have the proper amount of tension to turn the water pump at the correct speed. Proper mixture of coolant and distilled water are extremely important towards keeping your system running cool. Most coolant contains anti-rust and corrosion inhibitors that prevent sediment buildup and premature cooling system failures. Coolant hydrometers are available at most local parts stores. Mineral deposits and sediments from corroded or malfunctioning parts accumulate in the cooling system. As part of your regular scheduled maintenance or before performing a cooling system repair, it is recommended to flush the cooling system prior to installing any new parts. This is a task made even easier by using a flush fill kit. Engine antifreeze should always be captured and disposed of properly. Failure to flush the system will contaminate the new parts being installed and could lead to premature component failure. If you suspect a problem with your vehicle's cooling system, it's extremely important to fully diagnose each component before doing any repairs. 